Children who recall vivid memories of past lives. It's hard to wrap your head around, right? They describe places they've never been, people they've never met, and events that took place long before they were born. And I'm not talking like vague stories. These kids often recount things in stunning detail. How do we explain that? Imagination? Maybe, but what if there's something deeper at work? What if these children are holding on to memories from before they entered this life? Fragments of past lives they've lived. Could these memories be remnants of who they were before they entered these physical bodies? What we often call meat suits. I know it sounds strange, but think about it. Could these kids be offering us a glimpse of the soul's journey before it is fully immersed in the material world? A moment where their connection to the divine is still intact, where they remember where they came from. And this isn't just speculative anymore. There's real research being done. People like Jim Tucker, a child psychiatrist at the University of Virginia, are diving deep into these cases. His work builds on the research of Dr. Ian Stevenson, and together they've uncovered hundreds of cases where children seem to remember past lives. And these aren't just random stories. They're often filled with names, places, and details that have been verified. Now that's something to think about. What if these children and their innocence are closer to the truth of who we all are? What if reincarnation isn't just a mystical belief, but a natural part of our existence? The soul eternal and ever evolving, moving through different lifetimes, gathering experiences and learning through each one. And if that's true, if we are eternal souls, then this life we're living right now is just one chapter in a much larger story. But here's the thing. As these kids grow up, something happens. Those memories, those vivid details, they start to fade. Why? This is where we start to talk about the veil of forgetfulness. When we're born into this world, where there's a veil, almost like a curtain that descends and makes us forget who we've been. At first, when we're young, it's thinner. We might still remember those past lives, those other experiences. But as we grow, that veil thickens and eventually those memories slip away. But why does this happen? Well, think about it. Imagine carrying the full weight of every past life into this one. That would be overwhelming, wouldn't it? All the joys, the traumas, the mistakes, we'd be buried under it all. So in a way, the veil is a gift. It allows us to start fresh, to focus on the lessons and experiences of this life without being distracted by all the baggage of the past. But even though we forget the essence of those past lives, the wisdom, the lessons, they don't disappear, they stay with us, influencing our fears, our desires, our instincts. And here's where it gets really interesting. It's not just about forgetting, it's about something bigger, our souls. Our souls are eternal. And each time we come into a new life, we are bringing with us the essence of all those past lives, we are here in what some might call earth school, to learn, to evolve, and to awaken to our true nature as souls having a human experience, not the other way around. Let that sink in for a moment. We aren't humans striving for spiritual experiences. We are spiritual beings, eternal and boundless, experiencing what it means to be human. When you think about it that way, it changes everything. This life isn't just about getting through the day-to-day, -day, checking off boxes, or striving for success. It's part of a much larger journey. And here's where Jim Tucker's research becomes so powerful. These children with their past memories remind us that we are so much more than these bodies. They give us a glimpse of the soul's journey, a journey that doesn't end with death and didn't begin with birth. In this sense, every life, every incarnation is an opportunity for growth. Our higher self, the part of us that exists beyond time and space, guides us through these lifetimes, orchestrating the lessons we need to evolve. And the best part? All of this, the past lives, the present one, even future ones, they're all happening simultaneously. From the higher perspective, time isn't linear. It's not about past, present, and future. It's all now. Every experience, every life coexists in this infinite moment. It's mind-blowing, right? And this isn't just some abstract spiritual concept. It's real. Reincarnation, the veil of forgetfulness, the eternal soul, these aren't just ideas to ponder. 
the foundation of who we are and why we're here. Remember, we're here to learn, grow, and evolve. And when we realize that, life takes on a whole new meaning. Have you ever had a memory so vivid it felt like it didn't belong to this life? Or have you ever had a dream about something that didn't make sense at the time, but then it happened? It's eerie, isn't it? Almost like you've tapped into something beyond this reality. Like you've glimpsed another version of yourself in another timeline, another life. Time is a strange thing, isn't it? What if it's only tied to this physical world, to this space-time continuum? What if we as souls exist beyond time, as sparks of the divine here in this third density to learn and grow? What if those memories and dreams are glimpses of the larger journey we're on? A journey that spans lifetimes, stretching far beyond what we experience in this life. So what does all this mean for you and me? Well, if we are souls having a human experience, then everything we do here matters. Every lesson, every joy, every pain, it's all part of the process. We're not just living for the here and now, we're evolving, growing and moving closer to the truth of who we are. And what is that truth? We are eternal, we are divine, and we are here to remember that. Human influence, out.